special burden for those who walk in shame, those who walk in fear, those who walk in discouragement, things that just bow our head, things that make us walk feeling defeated. Maybe you've gone through some truly difficult times in life. Today the Lord is your shield. Today the Lord is your fortress. Today he is your strong tower and you can run and you can hide in him and you can, in those times of hiding, let his refreshing come and pour over your spirit. We come and hide in him in the most difficult of times, in the most difficult of seasons. He is faithful to just wrap us in his arms and love to remind us that he loves us more than we could ever imagine. When we hide ourselves in him, we're broken, we're wounded, we're bleeding, we're struggling. He heals us, he anoints us, he allows his grace and mercy to cover us. I say, Lord, I'm going to abide in the shelter of your wings. I'm just going to stay here in this place where you heal and protect me and guard me. Then the Lord says, stand up. I say, Lord, I don't think I can. The Lord says, stand up. My strength is perfected in your weakness. When you are weak, I am strong. When you seem incapable and unable in your own strength, my strength is perfect for you. My strength flows through you. You say, okay, Lord, I'll, I'll, I'll try. That's the moment, that moment right there where we can say, not I'll try, but yes, Lord. I stand with faith. I stand with assurance. I stand with confidence, not in myself, but in you. My hope is in the name of the Lord. My strength is in the name of the Lord. And he calls us to begin to walk, not with our head bowed low, not with fear, anxiety, sadness, sorrow, or shame covering us. The disappointments of this life can seem so overwhelming, but he calls us to lift our heads the hills where our help comes from. Some of you in this room have gone through some very difficult times and your head, whether figuratively or literally, has been hanging low for either a season or maybe for a very long time. You struggle feeling as if you're inadequate. Maybe you were told, even growing up, that you're worthless, you can't do anything right, you're a failure. Maybe you did some things in your life and you feel ashamed of it and every time you try to stand up in faith and walk in victory, the enemy reminds you of your past and you just need to look at him right now and say, enemy, you are defeated. My salvation is in the Lord. Shame has no place here. Maybe you say, I'm just not worthy. I'm just nobody. You're not nobody. You're a loved son or daughter of the king. healing today. You need him to be a shield about you. You need to step into his glory. You need him to be the lifter of your head. I'm going to ask you to take a step of faith and come to the front of this sanctuary and stand around this altar area. And I want you maybe with tears, maybe with trembling in your knees, but whatever it takes to come and stand here in this altar area and just lift your hands and your head and your eyes to the Lord begin to declare his goodness and grace over your life, to begin to thank him for his rich mercies, to thank him that he is a shield about you, your glory and the lifter of your head, and let him bring healing right now. I've been speaking to you, you know it, the Lord's been speaking through me to your spirit, just step out wherever you are right now and just begin to praise him, lift your hands, just come and stand up here and know, and I'm going to sing a song you may not know, but we'll sing it together, listen to the words, for that.
as you walk and pray in this house. Others of you might feel called to come up and minister to one of those that's up here. Just come and lay your hand on them behind them, men with men, women with women, and just pray one for another. Others, you may just want to come and stand and worship up here and say, Lord, you're my victory and my strength. Don't be limited by the constraints of your own self-consciousness or insecurity or fear, but just release yourself into worship. And I want to encourage you to lift your heads, lift your eyes, lift your hands to the Lord as we declare this one more time. Thou